we're gonna go ahead and style our events. So Apex 5 uh, does an excellent job at kind of um, helping the developer uh, control their styles uh, using CSS uh, classes. It helps us consolidate some of our UI logic um, into different uh, CSS classes. Uh, it helps promote reusability. Um, and honestly, it's just kind of easier to maintain. Um, if you have a lot of inline styles where you're actually finding elements and um, applying different styles to them, uh, that can be a pain to kind of manage and work with. Uh, sometimes it's necessary, but um, you want to avoid going straight to that. In, in our case, there's actually a, a CSS class property that we're going to leverage. Um, and there are actually many predefined classes that you can use, um, but you can always create your own class uh, if um, you have a specific color or a specific requirement that needs to be met. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use a case statement to adjust the CSS class for a given record. So let's go ahead and take a look and show you what I mean. So the goal here is that we're going to adjust um, these different events so that they look different or they have a different color. And why do I care if they have a different color? Well, uh, these are going to be these are actually different event types. So uh, Joe's birthday, that's a birthday event. Uh, discuss important issues, that's a meeting event. Um, and Skill Builders Day is a holiday that I just created. Let's go ahead and edit our page. And here's one thing I just want to point out. If you're new to Apex 5 um, and you're wondering where all the help text went, um, the easiest way to figure out how to customize or use something um, is uh, usually if you click on one of these properties over here on the right hand side, like for instance, I'm going to go find our CSS class property. So I selected the attributes of our calendar region. I found CSS class. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Notice that it turned blue, but nothing else really changed. Um, well, actually, if I click on this help tag up here, you can see that's going to list out lots of very useful help information. One of which is the how to leverage a case statement to adjust the CSS class for a given record. And so what we're going to do is we're going to modify our query so that we have some sort of column to leverage for this CSS class property. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to find our source query. And we're going to modify it okay and so what we're going to say is um I, I believe this is birthday so if if it's a birthday we want you to be, use apex cal green if it's a meeting we want it to be yellow and then uh if it's skill builders day oh we want this to be blue and then if you don't fit any of these, the default color is then going to be black. Save and run. Now you'll notice that nothing happened. Just because we have that class or that column defined doesn't mean that Apex is going to use it. We need to make sure that we configure our property. To do that, uh, we're going to navigate uh, to the attributes. And we can see that there is CSS class. So it's actually talking about the CSS class of a given event. And very conveniently, we have the CSS class column that we just defined. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save and run. And there we have it. Uh, we've adjusted the colors so that whenever we have um, a birthday, it will display green, a meeting will display yellow, and a a holiday will display in blue. Now, what if we want to create our own color, right? So what if Skill Builders Day, we don't want that blue, we want kind of a darker blue. Well, um, what we need to do is we need to add a CSS class uh, to our page. And so one thing that I want to point out is if I right click and I inspect element, 
you can see right here we have apex cow blue that's that color that was added um, or that's the result of the column that we added uh, and the properties that we configured on our calendar and we can also see over here on the right hand side um, we can see oh the this is how this particular class is styled so what we can do uh, instead of using apex cow blue but we kind of make up our own name and we kind of use a different background color border color and a text color we can very easily make up our own class so what I'm gonna do is I have something already copied here go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and edit my page I'm going to navigate to my page attributes and I'm going to locate my CSS, my inline CSS classes here, or inline CSS property. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste this in. So you can see um, I did some different, some different selectors have been added to the front of this. Uh, but ultimately, I made a class called SB Blue. And I picked a blue color. I, I picked some different um, some different colors here uh, to use, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this name SB Blue, okay, and I'm going to head on over to my query for my calendar, and instead of using Apex Cal Blue. I'm going to go ahead and use SB blue because that's what I just created. Say okay. And so just to refresh your memory, this is what it looks like currently. Let's go ahead and save and run. And now you can see I kind of have this like almost kind of purpley blue color. It is possible to create your own colors uh, when trying to uh, style events.